Hello everyone, it's Patty Behan and thank you for tuning in today. In this video, I'm going to make this beautiful shimmery card with some Ranger metallic white texture paste, liquid pearls, and the other products that you see here. So let's get started. To begin, we're going to make our background with white metallic texture paste. I have a piece of cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half, and I have the Simon Hurley Rectangle Blend Stencil. And as you can see, there's a little marking there so you can line up the corners. And there are markings on all four sides so that you can place the stencil straight onto your paper. And I'm working on the Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station to hold down my stencil. And I have my metallic paste and Simon Hurley textured paste tools. And to begin, I'm putting the texture paste on the back of my knife across the texture tool here, and I'm just spreading it in an even coat into the stencil. And I need a little bit more, so I'll repeat the same thing, and then just keep spreading it until I get a nice, thin, even coat. And I think I need a little bit more, so I'll go ahead and put some more onto my tool here and then continue to spread it out evenly and thinly. Okay, once that's done, you can carefully remove the stencil and then we're going to set it aside to dry. Okay, now we're going to do some embossing. I have the letter it celebration set and I'm stamping the word congrats with emboss it gray tinted embossing ink and then I'm using Ranger's silver tinsel embossing powder and I pour it over top after I stamp it and put the excess back into the jar and I'm using my handle it tool from Ranger to hold my card while I am embossing and you'll know that it's finished when the embossing powder starts to twinkle a little bit and it gets smooth and shiny. And now we're going to use the Wendy Vecchi Doodle Celebration Stamp Set and we're going to stamp the cake and one heart. Pour the embossing powder over top and then remove the excess and we're going to go ahead and emboss that again. And you'll notice in the corner of my mat there I have an anti-static pouch and I didn't use it this time but that is used when you want to remove static from your paper and the embossing powder doesn't flow. Okay that's done and now I'm going to stamp another heart and repeat the process and then we'll stamp one more heart, emboss it and then we'll continue to the next step. Okay, so now we're going to paint in our hearts and the cake. And I'm using liquid pearls. I have Wendy Vecchi's Rosy Posy, and the next color I'm using is Ranger's White Opal. And then the third one is another Ranger liquid pearls, and that's Sage. Now you can paint liquid pearls straight out of the bottle using a dry brush. And that's what I'm doing here with the white opal. I'm going to color in the cake. And then you can use it as a watercolor paint and you just add a little bit of water and you get a shimmery soft effect when you paint it this way. So I'm painting in the hearts and the flower with the rosy posy. And then once I do that, I'm going to paint in the leaves with the sage. And I'm cleaning out my brush in between each color and then once that's done you set it aside to dry and look how shiny that is it's just beautiful okay so now I have my background with the texture paste and I've trimmed down the edges and I put double-sided adhesive and I am putting all the pieces onto the card to see where I want to glue them down and I'm just putting it down with double-sided adhesive and then I'm popping up this heart with foam tape and also the word congrats is popped up with foam tape and that's it. You have this beautiful card for 
perfect for a wedding or a bridal shower. So I hope you enjoyed this and that you'll give it a try. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.